Okay, guys. So hope you enjoyed that fable. Let's talk about a couple things now. So again, let's go back to our list of uh, things that make a fable a fable. It was in Seesaw here. Fables are stories with a lesson, a moral. A moral is like a life lesson. And it's about how to behave. So like the moral in this one is, you know, trying to be sneaky and trick people. It, it won't work out for you in the end. You know, you'll get caught and you'll lose. Just like the, the crane. He tried to be sneaky and deceitful and he ended up getting kicked out by the crab. Told to go away and never come back. So he didn't get his easy food and all that. He doesn't. And his plan doesn't work out because he was dishonest. And uh, the characters, they're animals, the crab, the crane, the fish, they have human traits, like the crab was kind, the crane was sneaky and cunning, the fish, the kingfish was brave, you know, the uh, fish had trust issues with the crane. These are all very human type thing. That's personification. And again, this comes from folklore. This is a traditional story from the Muslim empire. So, and it's, so that's an example of a fable. So what I want to look at now, these are in your book. This is 24.1. And they're asking you to come up with your own idea for a fable. All right. So what, you know, think about what you could have for a fable. What could be your moral? What could be your life lesson? There's all kinds of lessons, right? There's lessons about it's good to be kind. You know, it's not good to be greedy. Um, it's good to be hardworking. You know, good triumphs over evil, things like that. That could be your moral, your lesson. And then think of some characters you could have. Three different animals. And then what could be their personification? Like maybe you have one animal number one and it's a squirrel and his personification, he's a goof off. He doesn't like to work. He likes to clown around all the time. Then animal number two could be an old dog and his personification, he's lazy. He likes to lay around and sleep, you know, and he's always bored with life, you know, and maybe animal number three could be a bird. And the bird's personification, maybe the bird's hardworking. He's always gathering sticks for the, her nest or always, you know, getting things ready, right, for maybe, you know, preparing for things that could happen, whereas the other two are goofing off and being lazy. And then think of events. What could happen in your story? It says, have at least four. There's room for six, but have at least four. And then it just has an example of what the events were in the crane and the crab. So you could try this maybe, see what you come up with. Um, just try to come up with your own idea for a fable. Obviously we're not writing it yet, we're just ideas, you know. What could be the title? What could be the moral, meaning the lesson? Again, that's up to you. What could be your animals? Have three different animals. And what are their, what's their personification? What are their human traits? You know, how are they like people? What are their personality traits? And then what will be the events in your story? And try to have at least four, all right? So try working on that today, okay? And there's also 24.2, but I don't want you to worry about that right now. That really, since you guys can't get into the Zoom meeting, there's really no good way for you to do this. So just stick with 24.1 um, for now, all right? Okay, go ahead and try working on that.